What's up guys, it is Fana, how are you doing today? I thought I would touch on Reaper today as he did get patched recently and I think he has gone like under the radar. I think people agree that he's got a little bit stronger, but I don't think people realize how good he is in the current meta. The thing is the current meta is like heavily based in the dive comp, like everybody's playing Winston, everybody's playing D.Va, and obviously like Mercy backing that up with her movement as well. The game is very high mobility right now, and a lot of this just relies on Winston jumping in and, you know, starting the fights off, dropping the bubble so that everybody else can do the DPS. This is where Reaper comes in. Reaper is really strong right now because he has that incredibly high close range burst damage and he has the ability to get away and along with the little buff to the lifesteal, he completely destroys Winston. <laughs> The other thing that has made Reaper a little bit stronger is the fact that Roadhog got a big change. He's in a different kind of category now. He doesn't have that big damage to take down heroes like Winston as fast. He's instead more of this more consistent DPS hero who isn't super high burst damage. Now, a lot of people agree that Roadhog is a little bit weak right now, which means that Reaper has a lot more room to be strong because instead of picking Roadhog to deal with a Winston jumping on, you just pick Reaper instead. The thing is though, even though people probably agree that Reaper is a little bit stronger right now, he's not getting picked a lot. He's still that hero that if you pick, you know, your team's gonna look at it and they're gonna be like, hmm, I don't know about this pick. Is this, is this the right way to go? What if we just get a soldier instead? So he's still not looked at as, you know, an extremely strong pick, but um, I think with a little bit of time, maybe a couple of weeks, people are gonna start to realize that Reaper has this incredible strength against dive comp. I've been messing with him a lot. My win rate has been crazy in comparison to other heroes. And if you look at sites like Overbuff or Master Overwatch, and you just look at the Grand Master section, you'll see that also Reaper has an extremely low pick rate, but at the same time has an extremely high win rate. Basically, what I'm saying with all this is, if you're not currently considering Reaper to be a strong pick, or you haven't messed with him for a while, and you definitely haven't messed with him after the patch, definitely think about trying him out if you're struggling with the Winston dive comp kind of meta, and you're just getting crushed by it. I think you'll be surprised by Reaper's current strength in the game. Anyway guys, that is just something I wanted to touch on because I'm loving Reaper right now. He feels really powerful and I wanted to share it with you guys. And um, as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see more like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching guys, peace.